so Mike Francesa it seems to be that he is going to be returning to the fan. Uh, for those who don't know who Mike Francesa is, he was pretty much him and Chris the Mad Dog Russo. They pretty much started sports talk on the radio. They're a big part of it. Um, Mike just retired from the, the fan, WFAN. Last December, I believe it was December 15th. And his replacements uh, for the 1 to 6.30 slot um, are um, Chris Carlin, Bart Scott, and uh, Maggie Gray. And they now have uh, the show from 2 to 6.30 and uh, the Joan Evans show at an additional hour. So now they're 10 to 2. And it's been four months and I think just yesterday we we got the news that it seems that um, he's going to be returning um, we're not exactly sure what time um, um, or how many days but it seems like it's going to be probably 3 to 7 or 3 to 7 30 and then the afternoon drive the CMB uh, are going to be having uh, a one to three a two hour slot and I just wanted to give a little bit of a, um, my opinion and uh, just just um, kind of just my opinion on the the, the uh, because it's kind of it's controversial. Um, a lot of people, I'm sure, are happy uh, for Mike's return. I'm happy too. I love Mike. I've been listening for a good. A good amount of time um, but in my opinion just to throw it out there it's kind of weird that he's returning to the fan you know that we had the big build-up that he was that the his retirement and it was a big build-up and and you know it was you know Mike's last year it was a big build-up uh, the big event at the end which I went to um, and it's kind of weird that he's returning um, but I'm happy for it. I mean, to be honest, the afternoon drive currently with uh, Bart, Chris, and Maggie is pretty is is pretty terrible. Um, uh, Bart Scott, his football in in information is good. It's you know being an ex football player, it's good. He knows he knows football pretty very well, but. Is baseball, you know, now that we're in baseball season, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Um, I, it, it, it seems to me that he takes his football knowledge and tries to apply it to baseball. And they're not the same game. Not at all. He, it's almost like this, 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 I don't know what it is, but he, he takes, it's almost like he makes... He, it's like what he'd say in a football huddle to his teammates and puts that into like a Mets or Yankees win. Um, and, and it just, it does, it's not the same. Uh, in football, you know, you can hustle, you can hustle, your, you can you can leave your heart on the field. And it's, it's different in baseball, you know. Um, you, you can't, obviously you can make great outstanding hustle plays in the outfield and, and uh, on defense, but... A pitcher is not hustling, you know. Um, the batter is not hustling. They have to be calm, cool, um, focused, and it's just not the same sport. And he tries to make the same sport, and just not. Um, uh, Chris, it, it, I, first of all, his voice is annoying, right? His voice is just annoying. His sports knowledge is is about as good as mine, to be honest. It's just not that good. Um, and then you have, then you have Maggie, and to be honest, she she knows her stuff, right? She has, she, she obviously knows what she's talking about, and out of the three, she obviously knows the most. Um, but, uh, and, and it's and it's, 
she's a Mets and Jets fan, kind of like Joe and Evan, where they, 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 they're fans of the teams that are here, whereas the other two are not. Like, one's a Texas Rangers fan, and I don't know what Bart is. It, it, I want to be a Mets fan. I don't know what he is, right? It's kind of weird they have two, two players that, or two, two of the members that just aren't really all that associated with New York. Uh, and then you have Maggie, who obviously is, and then, so, so she's the only one out of three that actually knows, um, is is well rounded, and, but still, I don't know if I would put her in the afternoon drive slot. She, I think she obviously she's she's talented and she has a a place. Uh, in sports talk, and because she she's very knowledgeable, but it's kind of not the position I put it, put her in. I don't know where, but she, but but and it it seems like they almost cater to what Bart's knowledge is, right? So I remember when the Masters ended, you know, the crazy Masters, Jordan Spieth almost come back, uh, Ricky Fowler was right there. And Patrick Reed, one of the best masters I've seen, right? And I was coming out of school. In the, uh, I had, well, my last class was coming out of school, and I was like, I was kind of hyped to, my, to 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 hear, you know, what they had to say about the masters, you know, because I missed the the Joe and Evan show, right? And it was barely mentioned, if not at all. I mean, honestly, does 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 Bart even know where? Where the Masters is held, I honestly don't know, right? And going back further, right? Uh, to to the to the March Madness in uh, college basketball, that was pretty rough too. Honestly, uh, it wasn't talked about a lot, especially like the first day of the games. I remember it. it they were like talking about the NFL draft, and it was just like, come on, you know. March Madness is started, and you're talking about the NFL draft, which is, and st still is a month, month and a half away. What are you, what are you doing? So, I, I don't like them, personally. I, I don't. They're not good. They're just not good. That's that's the bottom line. And then, and then the morning, the morning show with uh, Boomer Sanderson and Greg Giannotti, right? And they pretty much blasted Mike's return, which I understand. That, as I said, it's kind of weird that he's coming back to the fan. It's kind of weird. But, <clears throat> you know, Boomer's a super prideful guy, right? He's super prideful. And I'm sure he's enjoying being, like, the most, being at the top of this WFAN. So, of course, he's, you know, they've had, had run-ins in the past. So, obviously, he's going to be, you know, not too excited about Mike's return. But then, then the clown, his partner, the clown, uh, Greg Giannotti, whose pretty much only talents are to imitate other people's voices and uh, make, and try to be funny. And that's that's pretty much where his, that's where he's, that's where that's all his, that's that's pretty much him, uh, clown, who thinks he's funny, really not funny. He's really just not funny, and. Um, so they had a lot to say. They they pretty much ba they bashed it pretty hard, and that's to be expected. Um. So overall, in conclusion, I mean, I think it's great that Mike's coming back. I said it's kind of weird that he's coming back to the WFN, but it's good that he's coming back because man, it's rough listening to these guys from two to six thirty. It's rough. So uh, draft draft drafts tomorrow night. Uh. Probably, probably could make a video after the the first round's over, right? And uh, type. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Catch the catch the next one.